Those are just a couple of several developments coming out today on the marathon bombings. After the remains of killed bombing suspect Tamerlan Sarnea were reported to be at an Attleboro funeral home, a Worcester mortuary is confirming that it will be handling the arrangements for his funeral. An official said this morning the Sarnea brothers had originally planned to carry out their attack on the Esplanade in Boston on the 4th of July. Investigators say they moved it to Patriots Day because they finished making the bombs sooner than expected. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has been working the latest details all morning. He joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. And we are live just outside of the law offices of Tamerlan Zanayoff's wife, Catherine Russell. Meanwhile, the body of Tamerlan Zanayoff will reportedly be moved from a funeral home in North Attleboro to a funeral home in Worcester that has experience with Muslim services. The Associated Press is reporting arrangements for Tamerlan Zanayoff's funeral will be handled by a funeral parlor in Worcester. And USA Today is reporting investigators say they want to find out what Tamerlan Zanayoff and Russell discussed when he phoned her a few hours after the FBI released photos of him and his brother as suspects. Russell's attorney has told us she had no role in the attack. But the New York Times reports federal investigators are skeptical, especially since they say Russell has recently stopped cooperating. And as I mentioned earlier, we're just outside of the law offices of Tamerlan Zanayoff's wife, Catherine Russell, and I just received this email from the law office regarding any future comments regarding their client. It reads, in part, at this point, the firm does not expect to have any further public comment beyond our recent statement, and they went on to repeat the recent statement, which was Catherine Russell's wishes are that the remains of Tamerlan Zanayoff be released to his family and that they will communicate her wishes to the proper authorities. I also called that Funeral home in Worcester. I did speak to the person who was not authorized to confirm whether or not Tamerlan Zanayoff's body was there. The person I spoke with said the owner would be back later this afternoon. And of course, we will follow up with the latest details on that as well. Live in the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.